Matt Kids went on here today. This is a video on a wonderful new application we have for PC. You heard me right, for PC. This is not for the Mac, this is for the PC. Now, you might ask, why might we do this if we're called Mac Heads 101? Well, the answer is because a lot of you use PCs. PCs are like 93% of the computers out there. And even though it's called Mac Heads 101, a bunch of our subscribers actually use PCs. People said that they want the Mac Heads 101 app for PC. So we decided we'd make a great Mac Heads 101 application for PC. So first of all, you want to go into the link in the description. There will be um, a link to download a zip file, which will um, inst or download onto your computer and decompress. And there will be a link to download an .exe file directly. So if you click the link in the description that says download MacHeads 101 install .exe, um, then it will download something called install MacHeads 101.exe. No icon or anything. Um, by the way, this will only work on Vista or Windows XP or Windows 2000 or Windows Me, but only if you have the .NET framework. Um, if you work at a company, you can ask your IT guy to get you the latest version of .NET framework. Otherwise, you can go to Microsoft's website and find out how to download the .NET framework. Also, um, it will install if you uh, you may have it installed on XP, but it comes with Windows Vista. So first of all, what you want to do is open um, the install MacHeads 101.exe file, and it'll say we have installed MacHeads 101 for you. Now in your start menu will be a button MacHeads 101.exe that is the latest version. Press any key to close. I'll just press the space bar. So that window is closed. Now we can go into the start menu. Go up to all programs. And right here is MacHeads101.exe. We can just click this. And our MacHeads101 application will open. It looks relatively like the MacHeads101 application on the Mac. Our icon about news, a little blurb of info, a refresh button, and the menu at the top. The menu includes preferences about most recent video and quit. File menu has show picture, data has refresh, and update has check for updates. Let's start with preferences. You can set two preferences, get updates on load. This is just whether it will get the news and the about and the blurb when you open MacHeads 101. And the other one will be show MacHeads 101's latest image icon. If you uncheck this, the icon will disappear. It won't be there for a little while. Another way to set that show image icon is by going up to File, Show Picture. Okay. Also, under Mac Kids 101, you have About. There's um, a little About window. Just a teeny bit of information about Mac Kids 101. Um, you have our most recent video. This is actually a great feature, in my opinion. Um, this just will open up a window that's just our latest video. Hey guys, this is Mac Kids 101. Today I want to be sure. So that's pretty convenient for us. So thank you. Um, I hope you get this. This has a bunch of great features, and you know the um, greatest feature really is updating. In the menu, you have update, and you can click check for updates. And it will check for any updates. If there is an update, it'll ask you if you want to update. You just click yes, and then it will automatically put the latest version of MacHeads 101's application right here. So there you have it, MacHeads 101 app for PC. It's um really good actually. I think we did a really good job on it. Um, I hope you feel the exact same way about it as we do because um we we actually love it although it is for PC it is great um and i hope you enjoy it okay so thank you for watching macas 101 one more time subscribe and goodbye